Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday. You're sitting on the hashtag Magna on Air Digital Network, magnasearchgroup.tv. It's the spotlight. We have a special guest in the studio with us today. Oh yeah, we got it. We've, we're excited about today. We've got John Sparks in the studio. He is one of the top 100 social media power influencers. He's a founder of statsocial.com and he's also an adjunct professor at the University of North Texas t teaching journalism. Well, so John Sparks, uh, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you? We're great. We're great. How are you? How are you down in Texas? <laughs> terrific, terrific. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? Everything's bigger in Texas. Well, welcome, 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 uh, John, to the to the show, to the studio. So, who is John Sparks? Tell us your story, who you are, what you do. So, I am a top one hundred. I've been recognized nationally as a top one hundred social media power influencer of twenty fifteen. In addition to that, I'm an author of a book called Three Hundred and Sixty Five Ideas to Go from Good to Great on Twitter. And inside the book, I share all my secrets: how I went from less than eight hundred followers to almost two hundred thousand followers wow. in less than two years without buying any of my own followers. I'm also an adjunct professor. I teach courses in the area of online journalism at the University of North Texas, which is near Dallas. And so I help people learn how to grow their brand and visibility on social media. Mm -hmm. And did you, did you choose 365 ideas for one idea a day, I would imagine? Absolutely. Yeah. So bite-sized ideas, little chunks, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, that are easy to read. It's a guidebook to help people learn how to grow their brand and visibility on social media. Not just, it's at one level about Twitter, but at a whole nother level, it's about uh, being more productive online. So to go from 800 to over 200,000, so let's go back a little bit here, John. When did you first catch on to Twitter? When did, when did you start playing around with the program and really experiencing how much, how much of a benefit it is as a, as a business or as a, someone looking to get ahead? So I actually started on LinkedIn is where I started oh, okay. and was reaching out to people on LinkedIn and it's not seeing much engagement there. And if you go and look at the user agreement of LinkedIn, it specifically states that you're not supposed to connect with people that you do not know on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So the rules on Twitter work a little bit differently. And so you don't necessarily have to follow someone and they don't have to follow you back in order for them to tweet you or you to tweet them as well. Right. So it's a great platform for sales prospecting. It's also a wonderful platform for SEO or search engine optimization, which is getting your name to the top of Google because it's a fact. People will not look hard to find you in 2015. They just won't. And in addition to that, it's a wonderful tool for job seekers as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's one of the questions that, you know, we, we've we also faced and sort of discussed here at, in the studio because, you know, we, we leverage all social tools possible when we're working. But, you know, what do you see the future in terms of job searching and people that use Twitter? Like, do you, is it something that we're going to just see more and more and more of? And, and how would you advise someone that's looking for a job to up their Twitter game to maybe get noticed or maybe get that job, for example? Sure, sure. So, yes, yes, and yes. To answer all of <laughs> So, typically what I've seen in speaking to different job seekers and going out to different job groups, really to get a job quickly, one of the things that I would suggest to recommend is using a diversified strategy, if you will. So if you've got everyone that's doing the same thing, you don't want to do what they're doing. You want to think differently than them. And so what are some ways that you can do this? So hence, trying the other social media platforms in your job search instead of just limiting your search to LinkedIn. So looking at Facebook and then also looking at Twitter as well. Facebook has done a great job of branding themselves as the friends network. And as we know, yeah. people like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. And so when it comes time to make hiring decisions, they want to hire somebody that fits into that category. And so they're friends. Mm -hmm. And so that is a great platform to uh reach out for job seekers, but also Twitter as well, because again, as I mentioned earlier, you don't necessarily have to follow someone and they don't have to follow you back in order to connect with them. So using Twitter as a stepping stones to bring people over from Twitter to either LinkedIn or from Twitter to Facebook, or better yet, what's going to even give you a higher conversion rate as a job seeker is to take them from online to offline. So taking them from Twitter to Perhaps maybe a phone call or one on one. Yeah. Meeting, coffee, whatever it may be, right? Absolutely. And when when you were at eight hundred uh, Twitter followers, were you at that point saying, 
I'm going to grow this beast to, you know, over a hundred thousand, over 200,000, or was it just something that kind of came as it did because of the, of, of, you know, step by step activity? Yeah. Well, it was actually a little of both. And so, you know, going through LinkedIn profiles, I remember specifically coming across a slew of people that identified themselves as being a top 100 social media power influencer and wanting that title myself to add to my resume, thinking that that would be something cool to have. And so looking at them on LinkedIn, they had over 500 connections, but and at this time, I should say that this list was actually put out by Forbes. Oh, cool. Dot um, instead of stat social and so it's since switched hands okay uh, stat social.com and so going to their twitter profiles and recognizing hey where they have hundreds and thousands of followers john has less than 800 followers so if i really want this title then what i'm going to have to do is step up my twitter game and so it's a fact that people reach out to people who reach out and so going out there and following individuals and assuming the sell and really thanking them for following you back and not just doing that but engaging with them because twitter is a conversation-based platform so thanking them for following you back and then asking them what i call a digital you know type question. So I kind of equate Twitter is like you're at a cocktail party. And so perhaps maybe asking them, what is the weather where you're located today? Question mark, question mark, smiley face, smiley face, something like that. <laughs> that actually wants to engage them and get yeah. them to respond. Because when you just thank them for following you back, you're not really asking them yeah. to tweet you back. I and so you. Out exactly. So it's about creating memorable moments, and since it's a discussion-based platform, getting people to respond to you, and you do that through asking them questions. Absolutely. And, and how often, John, should you be posting up on Twitter? How frequent? How often? Is this something that you do three times a day, once a day? For someone who doesn't really know the platform that well and is looking to pay, potentially blow up on Twitter like yourself, how often? How, how much activity should they be producing each and every day? Well, one of the main questions I get is how much time do you really need to spend on it? You know, mm. I'm out there for a position, don't really have a lot of time to add this to my tool bag. And what I tell people is I actually spend more time talking about it than actually doing it. So I spend 30 minutes in the morning and I schedule my tweets for the day and I use a program called clout.com and that's spelled A-L-O-U-T.com. And so Clout has some great analytical tools, which actually will show you when your followers are actually going to be on Twitter. And so it recommends three different times throughout the day. And so I will schedule tweets to go out a little before those times actually hit so that when my followers are actually on Twitter, they actually see my posts mm -hmm. when they're looking at the humpy. And so I spend 30 minutes in the morning doing that. And then I spend another 30 minutes in the evening doing what I call my account management. So that's when I do my following and unfollowing. So I go out there and follow between 12 to 1400 new accounts every single day. And then I give those people seven days to follow me back. And if mm -hmm. they don't flush them, I get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> and so I use manage Flitter to do that. And w would you recommend Twitter for business? What are your thoughts around that? Absolutely, absolutely. But I would also say that if you're looking at starting your own business or business owners that are looking at using Twitter specifically for business, that they have a personal account and they have a business account because it's easier to gain a following on a personal account than it is a business account. And then using a tool like Manage Flitter to be bring people over from Point. your personal account to your business account. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And then in, in terms of, of, of Twitter and leveraging your profile, have you found that you know over a certain amount of followers you've been able to leverage your profile? Maybe maybe in monetary terms, maybe in just you know other opportunities or, or anything like that? Absolutely. So it leads to speaking engagements, opportunities for podcasts, opportunities to speak on shows like this, opportunities to be a brand ambassador with big brands that are following you. Mm -hmm. And so you can take a look at tools like socialrank.com. Socialrank.com is a great analytical tool to let you know who your best 
followers are, who your most valuable followers are. And so recognizing from looking at a tool like this, who these brands are, and then reaching out to those folks and seeing what kind of opportunities are out, are out there with brands. Absolutely. So now you've got 200,000 followers. Like, What's the plan next? What, what are you trying to get to 400, a million followers? Are you trying to monetize that 200 followers right now? Like, what, what, What's the plan? So all of the above, all of the above. So, okay. you know, keep working at monetizing it and filtering out noise because mm -hmm. there is a lot of noise on Twitter and all the social media platforms and figuring out, you know, it's not just about the quantity. It's also about the quality as well. Who are these people? And again, forming genuine relationships with those people, which takes time yeah. and doing that, but also at the same time, growing the numbers. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts on the recent changes in the media, you know, with Twitter changing its uh, favorites to a heart sign now? What, what, what are your thoughts around that? Well, you know, I mean, I, 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 the system I like hearts as well. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see yeah. where Twitter wants to go with it. So are they making that change for later changes down the line or are they just making a change to make a change yeah yeah i guess that's that was gonna be my next question is you know there's a lot of a lot of chat about twitter and the media and you know the the, the user engagement kind of falling yeah. off we're and, hearing a lot jason that it's just yeah, over like it's, know, it's not the social media platform anymore it you know? used to be it used to be that used to be but it's it's like what are you, what's your take on twitter where do you see it going like them changing you know uh stars to hearts isn't gonna you know change that so where do you where do you see the future of twitter well, you know, I mean, that's anyone's guess. Uh, I, I've been very encouraged to see lately what has been happening with the company. I mean, I, I like the idea of Jack Dorsey uh, rejoining as their CEO. Yeah. So yeah. I'm excited about that. And, you know, I think that it all starts from the top. And I think he's a great leader. So I'm, I'm looking forward with anticipation to see what they're doing next. I love the new Twitter polls. I think it's another great form of engagement. I don't know if you guys yeah, have I've picked up. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it question and you can give people uh, two choices and, and 24 hours to respond. So I've done a number of Twitter polls, uh, you know, asking them different sports related questions like, who do you want to win, the Dallas Cowboys or the New York Giants and having people weigh in and respond, you know, to questions like that. So it's, it's going to be great to see, you know, and I'm excited to see what, what's going to happen down the line. I think it's a huge, uh, that the polls I, I noticed as well, that'll be very large for organizations as well, right? Which one of our shoes do you like better? Should yeah. Shoe A, shoe B. Okay, we'll sell surveys shoe B and research is what companies want to have information. Yeah, for maybe that's where Twitter research, goes, right? right? It's all yeah. analytics. It's very interesting to see, mm -hmm. um, where the, uh, the future of social media is going. And then what about, um, um, the, the, I want to go back to the book a little bit here. So 365 ideas, you know, growing your Twitter profile from good to great. What would you share if you had to share? Because obviously, you know, we want people to, to engage in this book. Where can they find your book, first of all? And, you know, share us two to three ideas of, of that. Give us a little taste. Sure. OK, so the book is available on Amazon.com. And they type in 365 ideas and the book should come right up. Perfect. Uh, when search and it's also available on kindle as well and so you can get the kindle version the same way through amazon.com okay. then if they want a personalized signed copy a lot of people are going for personalized copies then they can send me an email at iamjohnsparksgmail.com and just put in the subject line want book and i'll get back with them and i can fulfill those requests as well perfect, so perfect be happy to, to work with anyone that uh, wants uh, personalized signed copies. So as far as the best tip, what my favorite tip is in the book, yeah. you asked? Okay, so, uh, you know, it's really having a purpose for being on Twitter. And so I talk about an idea, number one, having a purpose for being on the platform and developing what that purpose is. And so... I talk about taking the word I out of your tweets and I really look at social media from a flip perspective. And so my ideas are that when you take the, take the word I out of your tweets and also your other social media posts, then you become more concerned about others. And I come from the school, the Zig Ziglar school of thinking that you can have anything in life that you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. Yeah. And and you get to know what they want if you're constantly talking about me, me, me. So taking the word I and me out of the tweets and focusing on the relationship and getting to know other people and how you can help them. Yeah, connecting mushroom and leveraging, right? That's Absolutely. what Twitter is all about. 
Absolutely. And and where can people find out more about you? I know you've got a website, um, imjumpsparks.com, correct? They can correct. reach out to you on LinkedIn, find you on Twitter. Where can people find you? I am John Sparks. So I've aligned my brand across the board. So you can find me at I am John Sparks on Twitter, I am John Sparks.com, Facebook.com, I am John Sparks, any of the social media platforms for that matter at I am John Sparks. He's at the top of Twitter. It's SEO, social media. Page. <laughs> <laughs> He's there. Well, thank you so much, John, for being here. It's Friday. You're sitting on the hashtag Magdron Air Digital Network, the spotlight. Thank you. Great interview today, Jason Berard. Make sure you follow us on uh, iTunes, LinkedIn, Stitcher Radio, SoundCloud. We're blowing up our instagram's blowing up we're bringing you shows each and every week subscribe to the network and uh thank you to our community and Bye. check out john sparks check, check him, him out, out. Check step him your out. twitter game up we'll see you next week see you next week <laughs> <laughs>